handful of times it blows off it so loud it scares you yeah like because it's so sudden and you don't expect it the noises will get so loud i've called 911 several times and the lady says can you go some away from this so where i can hear you and i'm like ma'am i'm in the house you know um, um you know i'm inside my house and my bathroom is the only place that you, you can got in the shower you can talk on the phone doors you have to talk to 911. you don't know what's going to happen next it's never consecutive the noise you yeah never know what's going on. yeah you don't know when it is you don't know what it is you in the forest the same way like i said my wife wake me up a lot of times at three o'clock in the morning and I think there's something wrong over there. Well, I said, Betty, there's always a, this is a different far. This ain't this ain't the same one. It's bigger, or it's it's smaller, or it's in a different place. Or I'm scared. She just, you know, I said, Betty, I don't know where you're scared. I, I no, let me hug you. I don't know what else to do. All is nothing but worries. I mean, because what can you do? And if they say, the guys have said there's a five mile kill zone on this one. And they're putting these compressor stations a mile to two miles apart. So if one blows up, what's the domino effect on it? People are leasing their properties, you know, and selling a property right next to their neighbors to do this with, and then they take the money and move out, you know, and then not think about what they're doing to their neighbors. The people that lived here 50 years, you know.